Hey, what's going on? My name is Tim Leo and you are watching 360 Victory. Thank you for watching this. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're in sales, if you just wanna be a better person and win at every area of your life, this podcast is for you. This is designed to help you no matter where you are in your business, whether you're the CEO or whether you're an employee first day on the job. This podcast is designed to help you be more victorious and be a champion at whatever it is you're doing and in every aspect. really important that will help you grow your business. Now, today is some, I'm going to make it really short. Uh, it's kind of been a, a while since I've been on the podcast. Um, been really, really busy. Our business is experiencing hyper growth. We are building a billion dollar company in the fintech space. And unlike other gurus and internet people out there, I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step, um, framework, work, mindset, procedures, uh, tricks, tactics, everything that I can, strategies, everything that I can to help you win as an entrepreneur. I'm going to show you how we are building a billion dollar company today here in 2019. For those of you guys who may not know me, my name is Timothy Leo. I own multiple different companies. My companies generate each year over $300,000 in passive residual income. And that word has been uh, uh, quite a buzzword in the, entre in the entrepreneur community. Um, you know, everybody wants to get a slice of the pie, a slice of the passive residual income pie. And so whether you're in real estate, um, whether you're in multi-level marketing, network marketing, direct sales, business to business, whatever it is, um, the, the goal of all of my partners is to be 100% financially free. So if that's you and that's what you're after, thank you for watching. Um, I'm, I'm gonna start today by just saying the only way to get out of debt, get out of poverty, and if you make less than $150,000 a year, you are living in poverty here in America, okay? Um, $150,000 a year is no money. My friend the other day was bragging to me that he, 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 was, um, he, he was telling me like, I'm, I, I've almost made $20,000 this month on my sales job. And I, and I turned to him, I said, dude, that's it? Like, that's no money because $20,000 is, is gone like that in today's economy, guys. You know, and th that's not even residual income. What you need to do is you need to build your stream of passive residual income. I don't care how much your paycheck is. I care about how you're actually multiplying your money, right? M people don't know how to do three things. They don't know how to make money. They don't know how to keep the money that they make. And they don't know how to multiply the money that they make. I'm going to show you how to do all three of those things, okay? But I want to drill this home, and I'm about to get to my first point here, um, is that the only way to be financially free is by putting in the work. There is no secret here. There is no talent. I am not more talented than you. Me and you watching this video have the same chemicals. If you live in America, we have the same opportunity. And the only reason why I am where I am and the only reason why I've done what I've done is because I put in the work. Right now, it is 10.45 p.m. I started my day today at 3 o'clock a.m. Don't believe me? Watch my vlog. Okay. The reason why I'm, I'm doing this vlog is to show you, literally show you how to take your net worth from being zero, less than zero, okay, <laughs> less than zero to over a hundred million dollars. Okay. Or, you know, and more, um, 3 AM to 10 30 PM. That's like 19 hours of work. Okay. If you are not putting in the work, you are going to be crushed by people like me. And the reason why I win when facing other people that put in mediocre work is because I simply want it more than you, period. 
Um, I think that immigrants in this country have a great advantage because we understand like where we came from. Guys, listen to me and listen closely. My mom would walk from her home in the Philippines with no electricity in a hut. She would walk 11 miles up and down the hills and the little valleys of the Philippines to school every single day. 11 miles per day. That's a half marathon every day, guys. And the people in my mom's village in the Philippines would um, be so proud of her because they would look at her and they would say, oh, Evelyn, we saw your, your kerosene lamp. They had kerosene lamps. For uh, Many of you guys don't know what it is. It looks like this. Uh, a kerosene lamp. We saw your lamp burning um, past midnight. We saw your lamp burning all night. Why? Because she was studying um, the things that she, she had to study um, growing up in the Philippines because she knew that the only way out is by putting in the work. Guys, the only way out of your financial situation, where you are right now in your life, wherever you are, and if you're content, by the way, that's the worst place to be. But the only way out is by putting in the work. My mom uh, went to, let me take this off here. My mom went to the University of the Philippines, UP Manila. Um, only the top, I think only top 2% or 1% of high school graduates in the whole country go there. It's the Harvard of the Philippines. She had a double major with a minor um, there because she put in the work. Guys. You might look at me right now and say, oh yeah, good good job, Tim. You worked 19 hours, 20 hours today, cool. You guys don't understand, like, like my mom, when we were, uh, she put four kids through private Christian school in Florida, one of the top um, schools um, in, in South Florida. And um, the, there were some weeks where she would work over 110 hours in one week because she put in the work. What are you doing to drive your business forward? And, you know, um, as, an, as an immigrant and as someone that has come to this country, America, from um, another country, I can just tell you right now, there's a lot of things swirling around in our political system. There's a lot of things swirling around in Washington, in Congress, and I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not a very, I'm not a very political person, to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of things swirling around. If you do not understand that America has the greatest opportunity, it is a place, a country, the economic system is set up here so that anyone, 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 anyone can go from being broke to being worth millions of dollars, okay? And if you don't appreciate this country, then the joke's on you guys because I am so grateful to be a part of, of, of America and to be helping uh, make this country a better place, you know? People talk about make America great again, make America great again, whatever. Guys, forget about making America great again. Make your little circle of influence in your city, in your state, in your uh, village, in wherever you are, your town, um, your parish, make that a great place, okay? Make your circle of influence great. That's how you make the whole country great, okay? Um, if we all do our part. Now, um, going back to putting in the work, okay? Woke up at 3 a.m., drove four hours to an appointment, got no showed at the appointment, four and a half hours away, waited for the appointment to show up, did work in the car, called all my partners, um, had morning meetings in the car. Um, and when I got to my appointment, the person that I had a meeting there with was very like standoffish and kind of put offish and almost combative, combative. Is that a word? Combative, combative, Be belligerent kind of arguing, bickering with me going back and forth. And I was like, man, what am I going to do? I, I drove, I drove four and a half hours woke up at 3 a.m. It's 8.45. What am I going to do right now to make this million-dollar deal work? Okay, 
here's what I did. Number one, um, I remembered my mom and the sacrifice that she put in walking. Listen, I I didn't walk no 11 miles. Okay. I sat in a nice, comfortable car in a German engineered sports car, drove my happy self there, air conditioned, protein drinks, coffee, uh, watching, you know, uh, you know, stuff on, on, on YouTube, Cardone university. Um, I remembered where I came from and I remembered the sacrifice of my mom. So that immediately eliminated any, um, iota of complaint in my soul. Like every time I think about what my parents and the parents before them and what we had to go through to get where we are now, it just eliminates all complaining period. And you know what? I have an African American uh, friend that said something to me that was so powerful and literally changed my life. Okay. This is what this African American brother said to me. He said, man, you know, we over, we overcame slavery, slavery. We overcame slavery. There's no reason why we cannot rise up and be great talking about, um, you know, his, his race, but the, but it, it's true for, for any, any person, black, white, brown, yellow, orange, blue, um, where you've come from. If you remember the hardships that your ancestors had to go through, unless you're like literally like a Vanderbilt, right? But even they, um, went through hardships. If you remember the hardships that, that your, um, parents, grandparents, great grandparents had to go through to get to where we are now, like, I Maybe it's not true for you, but for for me, at least, it eliminates any complaint that I had. So number one, I started with gratitude. And number two, I recognize that, um, listen, this is why I've been successful in the past four years. And I attribute all my success, 99% of my success to my understanding of this principle. People do not care how much you know they don't care how great your product is they don't care how like amazing your widget your gadget your service your good whatever it is they don't care about any of that the only thing that people care about is how you make them feel and the value that you bring their emotional state now and perceived in the future meaning right now in that moment when I was basically like got cornered into a, into a uh, like verbal sparring with a manager, a general manager of a practice um, who maybe had a bad morning, whatever. I remembered that I don't need to make a sale. I don't need to make a sale. I don't need to um, get a deal closed. I don't need to do any of those things. I just need to make this person my friend and make them feel good about themselves and and um, make them understand that by doing business with me, they will feel good in the future um, and and build that future tense, that, that, that future feeling um, in our interaction. And that's, exa- that's exactly what I did. We, 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 we found out through our conversation that we had so much in common. It was incredible. We had so much in common. We had so many values. Um, I, I was asking questions and I was, I was um, just, just b- being a friend. And by the end of, of the um, interview sales meeting, we sat and we talked about everything, talked about um, my, my product. Um, we, we left like best friends. It's incredible. Guys, forget about your ego. Forget about your need to make a sale. Go in there and make a friend and bring real value to someone else's life. And you'll you'll do that multiplied by 100 times a day. You'll never need to worry about money for the rest of your life if you have the right vehicle. Okay, moving on. Um, There was a, 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 not a major problem, but there was a problem that I encountered today in my business. And, um, 
you know, as young entrepreneurs, sometimes when we have a problem, we tend to like duck and cower away from it. Guys, uh, the only way to handle your problems is to run at them head on and dive head first into whatever problem it is in your business. That is the only way to handle problems. So I want you to think right now when you're listening to this, think of a problem that you have in your life. What is it? Is it your fitness? Is it your relationship? Is it something to do with a customer? Is it a, a delivery of a product? It, it, what, what problems do you have in your life? Run as hard and as fast as you can at those problems and tackle them head on. That is the only way to deal with your problems. Don't beat around the bush. Go right to the heart of your problems with massive empathy if you're relating to another person okay or if you're if if you're just um dealing it dealing with it on your own like take you take your self-awareness and deploy self-awareness against your problem and run at it take it on head on and knock it out um i knocked out like three problems in my business three issues that i had um this afternoon in the car ride back and like before the the call or the email or the interaction like i honestly was kind of scared because i didn't know how it was going to turn out um ran at it head on dealt with it um and it worked out amazingly we had a customer who's saying that they wanted to cancel they want their old company back they want to uh, go back with their previous company bring me my my machine back um what else um you guys are you guys are scamming me. I'm um, doing this, whatever. We went from there to, man, I'm so glad you cleared that up with me. Let me give you some referrals. Tackle your problems head on, okay? Um, the third thing is, guys, when you wake up in the morning, when, when your eyes pop open in the morning, you need to remember. Look, you don't do anything. Let me tell you what I do. I, when my eyes pop open in the morning, I remember who is counting on me. As a matter of fact, on my phone, I have reminders. They look like this. They remind me every single day to do what I have to do, right? And um, I, I remember that my son um, is counting on me. My family is counting on me. And you, as an entrepreneur, you have got to remember, if you want to be successful, you have to remember who is counting on you to be successful. I promise you, you will never, ever run out of motivation if you connect yourself with a cause that is greater than your personal problems. For me, it's saving the lives of children that are trapped in sex slavery and providing clean water for thousands of people in places where they literally drink sewer water. We literally save lives. So every excuse I have is not good enough for those people. So what I would highly encourage you, if it's worth it to you, remember who is counting on you. Um, and then the only other thing I have here is that you know, I am constantly recruiting all day, every day. I'm out in the public and I'm looking for the next me, <laughs> right? I, I'm, I'm literally looking for, for me. Like it sounds kind of dumb, but um, I'm looking for a young man who, who has the drive, the courage, the passion, the heart, the determination, quite frankly, and excuse my language, the balls and the integrity, the honor, the work ethic. I'm looking for me out there. And when I find someone who I think is like me, um, I get really excited, right? I get really, really excited. And, be, and when, when I meet good salespeople, I get really excited. I love good salespeople. Um, if you think you're a good salesperson, give give this video a thumbs up. Okay, thanks. Um, it, if you suck at life, give this video a thumbs down. Um, 
I like it when I meet good salespeople. And um, today I was in a recruiting meeting, and I'll put a little clip of that up here, um, with a guy who is really good at sales. He, he hits his quota and exceeds his quota at Verizon every single month, okay? Um, has sold over a thousand accounts in the past couple years since he's been with them. Um, and I was showing him how, you know, if, if you only made, you know, 35 bucks um, a month off of those accounts, you would have had like $35,000 a month in residual right now, but um, whatever. Um, great guy, amazing guy. And, you know, he checked all the boxes of a good salesperson, but this incredible verse came to mind. I'm gonna leave you with this. Okay. Um, the apostle Paul in first Corinthians chapter 13, he says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love it means nothing it means absolutely nothing. You could be the greatest salesman in the world. And, you know, if you're watching this video and, and you're an entrepreneur, you need to think of yourself as the greatest salesperson in the world. Listen, in every single UFC title fight, in every single boxing title fight, in every single, um, you know, heavyweight championship, before those two guys square off and throw punches at each other, they are both saying to themselves that I am the best in the world. I will be victorious. And you have to believe that as an entrepreneur. The reason why this podcast is called 360 Victory is because I believe that I'm going to continue to win at everything I do. And you have to believe that as well. Um, and no matter how great of a salesperson you think you are, none of it matters, nothing matters matters it profits you nothing it is garbage unless you have love it's crazy right it's weird like we don't really think that and like you're probably thinking tim don't go on this like hippie like you know sit around in a circle sing kumbaya like no like we as i was talking today like i really understood it in a deeper way that all this stuff i'm doing in business all of this Everything I do, my legacy will mean nothing if I'm not doing it out of the right motive, out of love, right? So love is truth, transparency, honesty. Love is not lying, cheating, stealing, taking advantage of people just because they don't know what you know. It's doing business fairly, it's doing business with respect, not only to yourself, but to your consumer. It's standing up for what's right. It's calling the right things right and the wrong things wrong. That is love and that is a legacy. And the reason why, closing with this, the reason why I'm on this podcast today is to hopefully inspire you guys to, number one, put in the work, get financially free. It's amazing. It'll change your life and you'll be able to change the lives of thousands of people. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to change the lives of, of you know, thousands of people around the globe. But even if you never change the life of thousands of people, um, I hope you change your life. And I hope that in every aspect of your life, you start to experience more victory through the principles that I'm outlaying here for you. Okay, so putting in the work, um, I hope none of you guys duck and run like cowards from your problems, but I hope that all of you tackle your problems head on. And most of the time, it's going to mean very hard, tough conversations. Learn how to have tough conversations out of love. That is legacy. Legacy can basically be equated to how many people are benefiting from your existence through the love and empathy and kindness that you've deployed to them. Okay. Um, sales is not having the best product service or good. It's building relationships and building friendships. And remember who is counting on you. So tonight when you lay in bed, think about that. Who is counting on you to succeed and to win? Let's win together. Bye.